Hello everyone, my name is Steven and I am a first year dental student. Today, I will take you along with me on a typical productive day in my life. Today is October 13th and officially 14 days from my fourth major dental school exam. That means that I have a lot of work to do. I wake up at a slightly difficult 6.30 and work my way out of bed. I drop and give myself a quick 25 push-ups because I'm on camera today and need to be on my best behavior. After the push-ups, I make my bed. This is something that I haven't always done to my mom's chagrin, but I began doing it this year. It keeps my apartment much tidier and it goes well with a quote from Dr. Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life when he says, set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. After realizing that it's still pitch dark outside, I move to the kitchen to begin assembling breakfast. Breakfast is a simple necessity for me. I don't do anything crazy, but I have to have it in my day. Today, I go for some Dave's Killer Bread classic English muffins with peanut butter, along with three eggs scrambled and some blueberries. Like I said, this breakfast is nothing extravagant, but it's healthy and gets me ready for the day. I take my breakfast to my version of a productivity desk setup. Leave a like if you'd enjoy seeing a video about this desk. I will be spending a lot of time here today, so I might as well get used to it now. While eating my breakfast, I check my email and slip over to my YouTube creator page to see how my channel is doing. With some blueberries left, I get to work in Adobe After Effects. I make all the animations and graphics for these videos myself. It's a bit more time consuming, but I like the personal feel that it brings to the videos. After breakfast, I head back to the kitchen to make some coffee. I'm kind of a coffee nerd with a Chemex and a grinder. I set everything up to make a great cup of joe when I realized that I left my kettle at my parents' house in Nashville on a recent trip home. I have a moment of silence for my coffeeless self, come to my senses, and move on with my day. The next step in my day is of course oral care. I start out my mornings with a rinse of mouthwash, the brand doesn't really matter here. I then brush my teeth with my Oral-B Pro 1000. I love this toothbrush paired with extra soft bristled brush heads. I usually use a Stannis based toothpaste, but I'm currently trying out Colgate's new Optic White Renewal because sometimes I'm a sucker for advertising. At night, I repeat the same routine and add flossing. Make sure you're flossing, it's very important. I also pop some dietary supplements. As you see, it's a vitamin B complex and omega-3 fatty acids. With my hair slightly fixed but still wacky, I head back to my desk where I will do a morning miscellaneous study session. It's now 7.30 and I have to be on campus at 8.45 today for a routine tuberculosis test. This gives me some time to get anything school related of my choosing done. Using this time, I decide to take care of some online quizzes that are due at the end of this month. These quizzes are essentially science articles with five accompanying questions. They're easy, but they require some time. So it feels good to get them done. At around eight, I throw on my class scrubs. These are Landau scrubs, if you were wondering, and I hate the way they fit. They're huge on me, but they're quality scrubs and they represent something I'm very proud of, which is making it to dental school. I get a little bit more work done before grabbing the mask and heading out at 8.30 for my 8.45 appointment. I do an extremely poor job filming this trip to campus, but it's not all for nothing because I get an awesome shot of the campus here at UTHSC in Memphis. Back in my apartment, I sit down for my first major study session of the day. In this session, I will be working through online lectures. Because of the COVID pandemic, my classmates and I have had an entire semester of lectures online. At this point, I'm quite familiar with the routine. Today, I'm starting out with a histology lecture on the lymphoid system and lymphoid organs. I download the professor's PowerPoint and open up my Anki in the other half of my screen. If you aren't familiar with Anki, it's a flashcard system with immense power. I'm very new to it, but I already understand the strengths this app offers, and I already campaigned for its need to be in every student's tool belt. I turn most of the major bullet points on the slides into cards. I make sure to include everything the professor has chosen to color in red. I'm not positive that this material is important, but I'm guessing the red coloring isn't simply a style choice. At this point in the test period, I'm almost finished with turning all of the lectures for the test material into Anki cards. Each day, I do a mixture of studying the cards that I have made and adding new cards from new lectures. By the time the test is upon me, I will have seen all of the material multiple times, and I will have worked through all of the cards that I have created. 
If you're interested, after today, I will be at a running total of 1,753 cards for this test. Yes, that is a lot. This is what I was talking about in my most recent video discussing dental school. You have to be prepared to do the work. That number of flashcards doesn't even include all of the biochemistry metabolism that I have to know, but I will be okay and you will too. At 11, I grab a quick perfect bar for a snack and take a 10 minute break to reset a bit. During this time, I film a quick story for my Instagram, which you should follow by the way, at steven.p.ray.dentistry. Now with a nice sweatshirt on because my apartment is freezing for some reason, I'm back at the studying. I'm still working through the lymphoid system in Anki. I've noticed on my previous dental school exams that knowing the content at face value does not take you above and beyond. You have to focus in on and master the details. This is why Anki is so big. If you are diligent with adding your cards and studying them every day, you will pick up on all of the fine details. After finishing the lymphoid system, I switch gears. Along with our next major exam, we have a histology lab practical exam coming up. In these exams, we identify the tissues, structures, and cells that are being displayed in microscopic slides. The way I study for these exams also incorporates Anki. While watching the lab guide videos that our teachers make for us, I use the Olympus software to find the important structures and cells that will be asked about on our test. I then take screenshots of these images, airdrop them over to my iPad, and annotate the pictures with my iPad. I attempt to screen record the iPad here as well, but that doesn't pan out, and I'm left without any footage of my work annotating. After annotating the pictures, I go back to my computer where I'll import the pictures into Anki and use its image occlusion function to cover up the words that I've written. In the end, I have cards that show pointers and circles on all of the relevant structures with boxes hiding the answers. At this point in the day, I'm hoping to go for a run. I run most days of the week, and it's my primary source of exercise. However, realizing that I still have a lot of work to do, I decide to scratch the run idea and go with a simple and quick at-home workout. Sometimes we don't do everything that we want to in a day, and that's okay. As James Clear says in his book, Atomic Habits, it's better to do less than you hoped than to do nothing at all. At 1.30, I set my sights on lunch. I prepare some simple ground beef on the stove and mix in some basmati rice that I had made the night before. I steam some frozen broccoli and combine it all into four meal prep containers. This lunch is simple and the furthest thing from flashy, but it fills me up and it's relatively healthy. So it's a go-to for days like today. I love meal prepping and I will talk more about it tonight when I eat dinner. I eat my lunch at my desk where I eat every meal and watch some YouTube to enjoy the break. At two o'clock, I shower and finally fix my hair for the day. I throw my scrubs back on to optimize my productivity and sit down at my desk for my second major study session of the day. Despite the fact that there is a jackhammer on the street directly outside my window, I manage to get back into the swing of studying quickly. I start off the study session by adding some Anki cards about the basics of carbohydrate metabolism. My biochemistry material for this upcoming test is all metabolism, and I spent a great deal of time in undergrad on this very topic. This should mean that instead of learning all of this material, I'm simply relearning it. Things are usually easier the second time around. I make sure once again to make cards that cover the major points in the lecture. I also make sure to make cards on anything that looks foreign to me. If it is new material, I will need more time with it, and it gets more attention in my Anki. After finishing this biochemistry lecture, I transition to actually studying my Anki deck. It is one thing to make thousands of cards. It's another to actually learn them all. As I explained earlier, every day I try to put equal time into making cards and studying them. Usually in the beginning of a test period, I spend more time in my days making cards than studying them. At that point, I'm just trying to manage all of the material. Here at two weeks out, however, I'm starting to spend more time every day studying my cards. In the next few days, I'll take my number of cards reviewed per day from about 300 to closer to seven to 800. I'll get through them in no time. At 4.30, I leave my apartment to head back to campus. Today at five, I have my dental morphology lab. I managed to get more footage of my short trip to campus this time. When I arrive, I mask up and make my way to the General Education Building, or GEB, where we have all of our labs. In lab, I create a poorly framed time lapse of myself waxing up number three, a maxillary first molar. While waxing, I'm listening to an audiobook, The Entrepreneur Dentist by Dr. Jerry Lanier on Audible. 
This book is a fantastic way to learn the business side of dentistry. And hey, Dr. Lanier drives a Rolls Royce, so we should all be tuned in. Much more on that in the years to come. Three hours and a serviceable wax up later, I'm heading home for the night. When I arrive home, I get to work on heating up my dinner. You guessed it, another meal prep. I made this meal prep last night. It's a chicken fajita pasta and it's one of my favorites. As you can tell, I love meal prepping. I think it's the best way to eat healthy, save money, and save time. On days like today, I'm eating a healthy and delicious dinner in only three minutes. The cooking portion takes time on the day that you decide to do it, but the next four days will be worry-free. I eat my dinner while working through more of my Anki flashcards. I think you might be seeing a theme here. My goal for today was not to work late, so after getting through the appropriate number of old and new cards, I call it quits on the evening. Before bed, I FaceTime my girlfriend Rebecca to catch up and recap our days. When 11 o'clock comes, I'm in bed with the lights out and ready to do it all again tomorrow morning. Thank you all so very much for watching this day in the life video. It took a lot of work to film, especially for someone who went from never filming anything to filming everything that they did in a day. But I think the result is gonna be worth it. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please consider liking the video and subscribing. Doing both of those things takes one click and it's free. I appreciate every single one of you who is watching this video and who's watching my other videos. I'll have some suggested videos here on the screen that you could go check out about dental school and my experience of getting to dental school and what it's like so far. And if you wanna see more content in the future, subscribe and I promise there will be more coming very soon. So until next time, thank you and have a good one.